First question, simple. Why is it called Dolly? Well, because Dolly was the first clone uh, of a cheap, and Dolly, the open source large language model that we released, is very, very similar. It's almost like a clone of these existing other models, but its main difference is it only costs us $30 to produce it and using just three machines, whereas all these other things that it's a clone of have been using hundreds of thousands of hours and they've been trained on trillions of trillions of documents, you know, so it's uh, that that's that's what we call the Dolly. It also kind of sounds like Doll E, the product uh, that uh, was put out by OpenAI. Okay, okay. So a more narrow data set. You've talked about the price comparison, but think about the technology. What are the similarities and differences between what you think is capable with your LLM versus literally what ChatGPT is offering now? Yeah, I think the key point, the thing that kind of took us all by surprise in November last year when ChatGPT came out, was this ability to have this kind of human interaction where it's going back and forth and reasoning with you. And that people thought you need tens of thousands of machines and lots of money, billions. And that's the thing that we kind of did for $30. So that's the thing that uh, actually frankly surprised us. Uh, but the key thing here is that we open sourced it. So anyone can actually use this. Any enterprise, any organization can use that and they can own the model themselves. Whereas with OpenAI and these other models, those are proprietary and owned by a specific company like OpenAI or Anthropic or Cohere. Let's go deep, deep here into the nitty gritty alley. This is a years old large language model, LLM, right? Talk to me about the architecture. Okay, but things are moving really fast right now. What is the architecture this is based on? Rachel Metz, who's just joined us at Bloomberg News, she is everything AI, really, really following her work closely. She's basically asking me the question, is this a generative system using transformer architecture? What is new here? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, it is using transformer architecture, which is the sort of secret sauce behind these LLMs. Uh, it is generative model. Uh, it's just quite small, and it hasn't been trained on lots of lots of documents, and not a lot of money has been spent on it. So we think that the secret sauce here lies in this small data set that we trained it on. So we had a data set with questions of answers of how humans like to have this kind of dialogue that you and I are having. And that small data set apparently is the secret sauce. And it turns out that maybe you don't need these huge models. Maybe the industry has been going in the wrong direction, training bigger and bigger models and spending more and more money. All you just need is this specific data set. Right. And that's when you crack the code on this human interaction. I, I, I tweeted that you were coming on the show. And one of the audience questions was about the ethical considerations around this. Essentially, they're asking how Databricks approaches the ethical side of what it's offering. Yeah, that's super important to us, of course. Uh, we think that the best way is for the community to collaborate on an open model that we can actually understand. We have the source code to it rather than it being locked down somewhere. So we think overall, uh, you know, it's super, super important that we do research on the ethical aspects of this, but let it be open. So open sourcing it is actually really, really critical and making sure that every organization can have these so they can understand what they're doing with their data and understand what their model is doing when it's generating responses rather than it's coming out of a black box API that's somewhere else that you don't actually have control over. Only very few companies, right. say a handful, have control over it. Ali, there's just in intense interest in this space right now. You heard us talk about pre-site and it's oversubscribed IPO over in Abu Dhabi. Will Databricks IPO when the window opens fully? Yeah, that's a stepping stone for us that will pass. We're more excited. We think over the next 10 years, this stuff is going to have huge impact. And there's no doubt for us that Databricks will be an immensely successful company on its own right over the next decade or so. So the IPO is just a stepping stone. We're not super obsessed with whether it happens in the next six months or you know, a year or whatever it is. Right? We, we will uh, do that when the market conditions are appropriate. But you could do it within the next 12 months. You could be ready. I mean, we are ready already, right? We, we, you know, we've said we've already shared we're over a billion revenue. We're 6,000 employees. You know, we have the finances. So we're operating, you know, even though we're private as a public company. Final question on Dolly. If you make Dolly cheaper than what's out there, what is the risk that it opens up access to bad actors? Yeah, look, I think the ethical aspects of this are super important. 
I just think these models like Dolly are super powerful and they can help us do things better. They can help us make education way better, healthcare way better, housing way better, right? So they're going to be great for humanity, but bad actors can also use it to do bad things, you know, uh, not just Dolly, any of these models, any machine learning, any technology can be used by the good guys and the bad guys. And I think, hey, we need regulation. And two, we need to understand how these models work. And the best way to do that is by opening them up and having them be open sourced rather than them being proprietary so that every company right. can leverage this technology. Because we think in every industry in the next decade, the winners are going to be data and AI companies. It doesn't matter which industry or vertical, they're all going to be data and AI leaders and they're going to be leveraging this kind of technology. So let's open it up and understand what they're doing.